Hey guys, and welcome to Wolfsburg West. Uh, looks like a pretty good sized turnout. A lot of people thought, think uh, Volkswagen guys will bail out in the rain, but there's not going to be rain till later, almost, well, after the show. So why not enjoy the day and come out and uh, hang out with some guys, check out some cars, and have fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the like button and uh, grab that early in the video. Let's try and get this one to do well. Uh, got a nice little shorty over here. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's my buddy here. And uh, yeah, good old Jim. We got here early. I think I got here at about five five thirty. And it's about almost seven now, so drove out in the bucket truck. I was gonna film it and still just want to kind of listen to everything right now. It's always a little scary driving that thing because after the engine blew that one time, I've got a I we tried to put a head temp on it, and the head temp that I got originally went only went to like 120 Celsius, which is not. <laughs> That's like 100 and 200 and something degrees. It's not even close to where they VWs run. So we had to put, I'd put one on afterwards and I could only get it on the exhaust stud. So it's running at a, a lot, I think a lot hotter temperature than what it actually uh, should be or well, is actually at. So there's that problem. I, so I'm running based on the exhaust stud. I've it's like 190 to 200 degrees, right in there Celsius. So that's 380 to 400 degrees on the exhaust stud. So that's pretty hot. But I don't, I think that's just a misreading. I don't think it's real head temp. Head temp can be 300 degrees on that thing, and that would be okay. That would be acceptable. Um, just running all the time probably would be kind of normal. I sell early notch. I know our notch back guys is always watching. Um, I thought the other one they put some wheels on it, or is this the same one? This one's always nice to see because it's just God early. Oh, the line goes way down there. I'm not going to walk all the way down there. So, wait for everybody to roll up and then we'll film some more cars later. Talk to you guys a little bit later. Uh, check this out, man. <laughs> Carmen Gia. I know in this video, I'm showing you guys a bus, right? If you just saw this right here, you think, oh, bus, cool. No. It's Carmen Gia. So, did a lot of metal work to this thing, guys. Look at that. Look at that dash. That is so rad. And all this is all, like, that's not the same shape as a bus one. So it had to make that by hand. Use the bus turn signal. Carmen Ghia gas gauge. Carmen Ghia Speedo. Grafted rag top. Let's look at this again, what he did here. So... This part grafted, that's all a bus graft. Because if you look here, it's grafted in from a bus and then reshaped. Then you got shortened safaris. I guess, did he just use regular ones? I, I think he just used stainless ones and trimmed them because you can kind of see the polished part. Use stainless safaris and then okay. modified them to fit in a car <laughs> I like the I like the safaris I don't know I'm not so big on this part but I like the safaris and I like the dash look at that again look at it from this side that looks pretty cool I guess you had to do the dash right because you're gonna have 
this thing tilted out and you couldn't really modify the Karma Gear dash, so it seems to work out pretty good. It's kind of rad. All right, talk to you guys a little bit later. Let's look at this car a little bit more later. All right, so here comes Jim. I really like this bus, man. It's really cool, original. It's got the DVW on it. He goes to uh, Pomona quite a bit. I see this bus there. So if you watch the bonus Watt me video, you might see it in there. What year is it? Let's see. It's early. Well, it's got to be 50. Fifty-six, seven. It's not a fifty-five. It's not a post barn door, but it's definitely early. Post barn door would have the no lip on the front, so it's pretty nice though. Look at that guy coming in. That's a nice oval. That oval came through here. That's uh, Horizon Blue, original paint. Oh, we're waiting for the line to come in. We'll take a look to here. That is low. He's on the ground. Yes, it's on bags. Here's your metalwork arm Gear. Oh, 23 window. Looks like a fire bus. Caught fire and still driving it. So good. Coming in. And here's Robert. Robert is something else, I'll tell you, man. <laughs> the stories I could tell you about him. We did not know each other when I was like 12 years old, but I actually figured out that I encountered him when I was like 11 or 12 years old because he's from a small town in Maine that my grandmother lived in. How about that? And I went there in the summer and he used to steal our bike. <laughs> How about that one? Yeah, we both live in California now. We figured that out one day. It was pretty enlightening. I used to get up early and go for a ride in Old Orchard Beach, Maine and uh, the bike was gone. And then uh, Robert and I were just talking about, and he lived in town there, and he says, well, about the worst thing I'd ever do is steal a bike, but I'd always put it back. So he just kind of borrowed it, right? Well, the uh, bike he stole was my grandmother's, and the day that, one of the days he borrowed it, it was gone when I went to go get it and I was totally baffled. My grandmother says, well, sometimes it goes away and it seems to find its way back. And uh, a little bit later that day or the next day in the morning, the bike was exactly in the same place. And Robert was bragging about how he used to borrow this bike and how that uh, he'd always put it exactly the same. He'd try and get the handlebar exactly in the same place. So it was like, I thought it was like, going crazy you know 12 years old so that was Robert was crazy that's a crazy story you guys that doesn't happen this is a small town in Maine we're both in California so anyway crazy yeah you can look up old Orchard Beach on a ma on a map and you'll see how small that town is I think it's population 2,000 something like that real small conversation kind of started one day when he was saying I said weren't you always you've always been a hippie huh you used to dress in tie-dye and all that back in there he goes yep and there was always these few kids around of course 10 years older than me they were young adults and they uh, would be always in trouble there's somebody yelling at him or something and I was talking to him about that and then the bike story came up and I just about fell over. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, we got a lot of cars coming in. It's pretty cool. 
a lot of people attended today. They didn't care about the rain. Forecast rain. You never look at the hourly weather and see if it's going to pan out. It's not going to pan out until after the show. So we got a lot of people coming in. Got a group of guys here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool, man. Hey, it's a way to roll right there. That is. Cargo doors open, relax in line. Coming into the event, it's kind of fun. Sometimes the line is just as fun as being in the show. You get to hang out with all the guys and a lot of talking going on out here. So don't worry about it if you have to wait in line. That could be actually meet some new people that way kind of get forced to meet someone because they're right in front of you or right behind you. Kind of makes it a little more fun. Another notch back. Well, that's kind of early. There's a yellow one in there too we got to get later on. Wow, what a group of cars. All right, let's take a little break from the roll-in. Kind of see how it's panning out over here. And then uh, maybe we'll go through a little pan shot of Wolfsburg West. Uh, this is an event put on by a club, but Wolfsburg West offers their parking lot. And uh, it's kind of nice. At the same time, they open up the store. I think usually they do. It uh, will be open at 9 to noon. So you can actually buy something. You guys are wondering, how big is Wolfburg West? How big is their store? It's massive. And it's very organized. Very good, well-run business, actually. It's run just like a parts department. It goes way back there. So it's, I mean, it's not quite the size of Empey's Warehouse. But it's pretty large and they run it based on Volkswagen part numbers like the old days. And it has some cool old signage up there. Some old signage here, takeoffs, standard oil. And they got the Volkswagen here. Let's get that guys back and look at that. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, I got the Volkswagen. A couple of cool old signs and stuff hanging around. This is a great place for them. One of the old Bugarama banners. They have enough warehouse space for a lot of stuff, and I think they actually have a couple buildings. So this is just one of them. And they really take care of their employees well. And as far as their, you know, work environment stuff, pretty good. So anyway, what brought well in business? They do a great job. Let's go back to the roll-in. Hopefully I didn't uh, overlap yet. It looks like it's some of the same ones that I showed you guys in line there. It's, uh, it's kind of fun to see them from different angles. Uh, I got you guys facing the sun, but uh, it's not peeking through the clouds. So we try to have some good video footage here, guys. Let's we'll see if I can get on the other side here. And uh, film away from the sun so we don't get the glare. And it's really helping this morning with the glare. Usually we get that morning time, the sun angle gets a lot of glare in the cars, guys. I'm sorry for that, but it just can't do much about it. You by yourself? I, I may figure out something okay. someday, but I haven't yet. Nice to hear him running. Looks like we got a double cab came out from San Diego, man. Wow, all the way from San Diego. Also, well, from Oceanside, right? Oceanside. Okay, this is from the North uh, San Diego group. I forget what the name is. Is it Wolfpack? I'm not sure. There's a couple different ones down there in San Diego, so got them coming in now. So yeah, all the way from San Diego guys come out to this show. So it's a really nice little small area but it gets really packed and we still have a ton of cars guys there's just like 
Take a look at way down there. You can see where the woman standing past her down the sidewalk. It is literally just full of cars. So it's a really fun little event. I don't know how many cars are going to get over 100, I'm sure. But uh, I don't know how far over that. We'll see. We're going to fill this lot. All right, looks like we got some of the VTO crew coming in. This is our VTO, you guys. You don't want to miss El Prado if you want to come out for that event or check that one on a video if you're not in the area. Man, that's a great bit event. I usually, I'm thinking I'm going to start calling it Black Star. Black Star Campout. And then it, we used to meet at Prado Dam Regional Park and they, uh, they, they stopped the venue there, just, I don't know, they just didn't work out the <laughs> Look at that, that's cool. Hey, Randy. <laughs> that is cool. Well, that's one way to sport a low light. Keep it down and dirty, like total off-roader. That is a low light gear, 50. God, and it's even dirty. Look at that. Like he just got up a race. Where he lives, I mean, I don't, he's out in, I think, Anza area. Good old Randy. He has the Old Bug website. So yeah, and if you ever seen the stuff on Old Bug, that's Randy. Really helps if you're trying to sell a car, you guys, uh, and I've sold a couple that I, you know, if it's a really nice car, he'll put it on there and help you out with traffic and, you know, he seems to get pretty good action. So, yeah. All right. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, getting distracted here talking. That's pretty neat. Sounds like a Ford truck bed on there. So a killer rat rod and he's got the power plant is a Subaru. Yeah. He's got a Subaru hook up in there. I mean that would be a really easy conversion to do. Yeah, it's the wiring, yeah. But putting it in here would fit right in there, wouldn't it? I mean, that's what I would do a Subaru conversion, guys. I think that would be pretty easy. And this is what the vendors do. Sometimes they come in. They want the vendors in first because they need to set up and all that stuff. So if you're a vendor, or if you're doing a swap meet, usually you can come in ahead of the line. And the reason they do that is to try and uh, get them set up. So, anyway. Just so you know, if you're coming to the show and you see guys getting in front of you, it's probably because they're vendors. Like this guy. Well, I don't know. This guy's just driving by, but they'll come around him. What a line. It looks like there's maybe more than what we usually have. I don't know. There's quite a few cars. We are going to fill this thing up tight. A lot of people missed last week because there was, uh, or a couple weeks ago. The last week was uh, Hot BWs. A lot of guys came to that. That was huge. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch the Hot BWs Cars and Coffee. It was massive. Split window bug there. Um, 47 so that was pretty neat to see and uh, you know when they're just past KDF I mean that's that's awesome like pretty much war vehicle you know right there 47 right after the war so. really neat Yeah, there's a lot of people in line still. Really nice buses here. Man, a double cab. I don't know if I've seen that one before. We've got... These are really cool, too. The bay window 
I don't think we sold very many of those in the U.S. In Europe, they're a lot more common. Somebody hit this. Mailbox baseball. Well, we got a few more guys. Oh, hey, look, that's the new guy. This is uh, Andrew. Andrew bought, took over the Westie. He's bought that from us. And he just saw all the videos on it, loved it, and uh, ran into some money that he was waiting for and uh, decided today that was the day to pull the trigger and he was the lucky person to buy it. So the new engine coming, you guys. The new engine build right now is for that. I'll tell you the story of that in the engine build. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We'll stick around for that too. The engine build on the uh, 1904. There's a lot of interesting things happening right now with that. It's been rounds and rounds, parts issues and stuff. So anyway, it's getting resolved as we speak. We can hear him roll as we go. Yeah, he's got a stock muffler on that one, like the bucket truck. Wasn't sure if this was Charlie, Charlie Locke, but I saw it was Andrew. He drove out. Beautiful Westie, man. That thing, I'm super happy with that. Plus, I loved it. I really wanted it to go to somebody local, and uh, I'm super happy that Andrew picked it up because he's somewhere close by. We'll see it around. It's one of those buses that's going to be around for years and years and years. So, really was built right. So, anyway, it's pretty fun so far looking at all the cars. And Talking to you guys, having a good time so far. I just love that smell of the old Volkswagen hydrocarbons. Just sitting there, waiting in line. It's awesome. It's a smell you don't smell very often. Do you guys, not anymore. When I was younger, it was everywhere. It was a little too much. Now you kind of miss it. Anyway, cool. We used to have, like right here, we do the slow drags. I don't think they're gonna be able to do that this time. It's just gonna be too many people. But if you ever wanna see the slow drags, it's kind of a fun thing to watch. We do that at the spring picnic. There's plenty of space for it there. But I think this is gonna be cars down the middle. Because um, we've got a lot in here right now. And there's still a lot in line. Let's take a look around. They got hand le Hemi lemonade over there today. Wow, that's cool. We got VW Trends. Usually hot VWs is here too. We got Rollins <laughs> over there. VW Trends. It's like a quarterly magazine. Yeah, it's a quarterly magazine now. It, it, you know, they try and keep it like the old VW Trends and then uh, just do a quarterly so they don't have too many, too many issues to put out, kind of keep it small. It's just uh, not too much demand for pa you know, paper print, but God, it's just so nice to hold a magazine and look at it, I think. It's one of the best things to do. So. Okay, it's starting to fill up. This will all be cars right here. Usually we fill up this whole area all in here. They'll pack them in like sardines. Yeah, it's, it's one if you need to leave, you can, but it gets pretty tight, especially today. It's a nice, cool day. So a lot of times it's hot. And what we do is we try to get along that wall over there because in the morning there's shade about eh, 10 11 o'clock maybe 12 or bring your easy up because it can be pretty warm here for some reason but today it is a uh, light jacket you know maybe t-shirt a little bit later 
really beautiful day, nice cloud cover. I mean, man, yeah, people get scared by the rain, but I think everybody kind of realized that this was a benefit. This is yeah, awesome. All right. Let's get the roll in going on. Another tin top. Looks like a Caravelle, is it? I don't think it's a Westie. Or it's one of the other campers, but it's really cool. Personally, I like the tin top Westies, and a lot of guys like the pop top. I mean, the benefits of the pop top is you can stand up. Benefits of the of the uh, tin top is you can be really incognito in camp somewhere, do a road trip. And being walked through, you can just slide right through there like that as well. They're both good. And then the, the other thing you have to worry about is the pop top tent going out. That's some more money and time. All right, still rolling in. A few more here. I can see the inner line coming. I see blue. Blue 13 window or a 21 window. I was looking at the side, I didn't see the roof. Double cab bay. These are cool too. I mean, we didn't, I don't think we got these here either. They're not very often. Probably came on the boat from other places or maybe from Mexico. It could have been. Panel bus. Fifty nine, sixty, sixty one. Everybody's piling the beetle coming to the show. All right. Nice to see younger guys into it too. It's uh that's our next gen, guys. A lot of Beetle fans still. Younger guys are, are liking them. Cool. Wow, we got some. Uh, we got it. Hey. Don't see that many of these here. And they're going away, so hopefully we'll. Save a few more of those. Another notch. Really nice notch there, guys. Notch back, and we've got nice vert. This this vert's beautiful. Got this out of Arizona. Restored and the uh, guy who passed away who owned it and came out to SoCal. Nice 57. I love silver, man. I, this looks good on everything, I think. Even on Beatles. Ragtop Beetle right here. Oh yeah, that's an early oval too. 54 rag. Look at that. That looks like a brand new car. Three fold rag there. exhaust that goes up with the two outlets that go out of the same area. 
I didn't know they made that. Or maybe he made it himself. I, some guys are doing that too. A friend of mine, TIG welds. Since we have a lot of people have TIG welders now, they TIG weld their own uh, exhaust systems. And, and uh, some guys have Mandrel benders and all that stuff. Just make their own stuff. It's kind of cool. All right, we'll get back into the show here. Show you some more stuff. Still parking. Everybody's gonna kind of hang out, converse a little, talk about your car, ideas you got. Sometimes it's just hang out. Yeah, they go $15. I go, oh, it's kind of It's awesome. Oh, somebody told me to change it. Yeah, they go. Nice looking thing there. Be sure to check out the. Yeah, <laughs> Prado. Or we're gonna call it the Black Star, I think maybe Black Star camp out at Prado El Prado show. Coming up a couple months from now, uh, we'll be at Kelly Park next weekend. So that's gonna be a different show. I haven't filmed yet, so be ready for that one. We have Kelly Park coming, and. Uh, all right, let's look at this bus row here. Wow. Oh, there's Andrew, he's over there. Found a Westie all opened up. Got the buses going on. That looks like really, looks cool. I'm not sure what uh, interior this one is. It, that uh, Riviera Freedom Camper. They have so many of them. God, that's cool. It's all original with the old rock looking floor. The marble. That must have been just the coolest thing back in the day. I got some ragtop drivers. Guys just having fun. Having fun in the old car. Wow, there's so many people here. These are just hanging out, ready to go. He uses that one, doesn't he? You know when the board's covered up that he's actually using it. Doing some long boarding. got all the way back here. Sometimes it's hard to walk back here, so this is good. We got uh, a chance to walk through here while there's not too many people. Sun seems just right. Of course, this is the 67 that we built on the channel. Um, and again, Andrew took it over. It looks so good. He got it all clean, drove it out. Had a lot of fun, a lot of fun so far. Got an engine build coming for that one too, so keep an eye out for the video coming on that. Interesting challenges with parts right now, but it's kind of a game the way it is. Got a double, Beetle, the scene guys, we just kind of hanging out, having a good time. Kind of how it goes, new chair. Meet with some friends. Talk dubs or whatever else you want to talk about. You know, just hang out, have a good time, meet some new people. Also, at the show, a lot of times, hopefully, we keep having the brass. 
I know. Stuff. How are you? Rats, hot dogs, hot dogs, brats, grilled onions. It's Look hard. at that, man! I, this is good stuff. So we got her up in the air, cut it up, off angled, sitting there on the outriggers. Of course, the axle seals like to pump oil out. I should have put uh, solid boots on this thing. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe one of these days I'll take the trans out, take it all apart, put solid boots on it just so it doesn't leak when it's up in the air. Yeah, just everybody's hanging out, having good times. Weather's awesome. You have to go, you get, you, if you ever come to this, man, you want to get yourself a brat, you know, and just walk around, check out stuff. A lot of smiles. The good old smell of hybrid hydrocarbons. It's great. All right, guys, guess how many cars there is here? I just got from the front. We have 201 cars in the small parking lot. 201. So it's uh, crazy. Look at that. There's there's 101 there. Somebody with a 201 in here. It's crazy. All the guys that got here early have early small numbers. So. A lot of pretty good sized crowd. Well guys, it seems to be a pretty epic day. 200 cars here, you know, and I never even got into the street. There's another probably 30 cars on the street that didn't even get into the show. So I think this is a pretty big show for this. It's like the biggest I think I've ever seen here. I think it is the biggest. So it's been pretty fun. We had to, one of the guys was a fireman or a fire chief and he had to get out so everybody had to find their car and move he was jammed in here that's a really nice gear this one here man that's original paint right there this was a great car to pick up this is a great find he found it's like in texas or something it's a euro oval too wow is it early that's yeah, a Euro, I think it is a 50, Euro 57 or something. Yeah. It's on the early one. But it is uh, Euro. A lot of these came over from the military, guys. That's where they came. The guys were in the military and we wanted to bring a car home. And that's how that one got here. We got one more notch back to look at still. This is John's notch back. This paint's like 20 years old.
TDI or I think it's, I don't know if it's TDI, but yeah. The, Camper, Caravel Camper, Riviera, Sundial, Westy. That's all you need right there. You can camp in that. Get some Indian blankets and a nice 23 window. I saw this one earlier and I kind of ran through them a little fast. There we go. Oh, there's just a ton of people here. There's some of the VTO guys. Everybody kind of hanging out, having a good time. Watch some. Oh, look at this. Hang on. Oh, what is that? Swivel seat, too. Oh, that's weird. Some sort of a medical truck? truck? That's pretty rad. You don't see these very often, guys. The swivel seat. I'm not sure what these are though. That's it's like a clinic or something. Hmm. I don't think it's an ambulance. American Legion. Really unique. I don't know what it is. It's really cool. Yeah, double swivel seat. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. It's like a camper, I think, is what it's... And I guess those were the beds. You just lie on those chairs. Can't kit company or something. I don't know what it is, guys. Comment below. You could tell us about it. Man, there's just lots of stuff here. That bus is nice. There is just some killer stuff here, guys. Yeah, that's crazy. Get a couple of the parking lot stragglers. Look at this. This guy parked out here. We got cars up and down the street. We got a couple over there. Over there. This guy's bus, a double cab. Spectators all the way up. I don't know if I filmed this not. So. Yeah, I put alternators on them now. It's really cool. This one has a lid that shuts, so some of them they, they leave them open, I guess. Kind of do either one with this. I think he's got enough base. 